All right, this next video is gonna be SMS lead expectations. Now, I know that the SMS leads, there's a broad spectrum here. And one thing I always say is cold calling brings the quality and SMS brings the quantity, okay? But with that quantity comes a bunch of other things. One of the things that it covers is it could be anything that's like, I always say maybe plus, Right. So, and it could also be full of sarcastic replies. So, when you get the leads, you're going to get people that are interested in selling, but you're also going to get people that might be being sarcastic to my team. Now, I train my team to send over the sarcasm no matter what, because they really don't know any better. And it's extremely important not to get in your employees' heads that are lead generators and have them thinking, oh, is this a lead? Isn't this a lead? So, they might send you leads of someone being sarcastic. Now, it is definitely not an argument that that is not a lead. I do recommend trying to call everybody and just feeling out their temperature. Even if someone replied positively as a joke, there is a chance that they do want to sell. Whether it's a qualified lead for you is a totally different story. But there is some kind of interest there sometimes. So with those leads, they will be anything maybe plus. All right. And then, like I said, there's going to be some sarcasm in there too. So with these, it's easier for you just to delete them than it is for me to go to my team and then tell them, oh, hey, you know, when they say this, you know, it, I know it's a million, but that's okay in California, but that's not okay in Oklahoma, right? Like they don't really understand those nuances. So instead we just send over all positive responses. The other thing that happens on texting leads is not everybody completes the sequence. So we'll text them. If they reply positively, we'll text them again. And then if they reply positively again, we'll text them again. But at any point, if they ghost us, we will still send that lead to you. So even if they say, yes, they want to sell, and then we ask them another question and they ignore us, we're still going to send you that lead. So you might get a lead and it says, and it's not complete. Oh, you left out their reply. Uh, no, they actually did not give us a reply. But we still wanted to get this lead over to you. And one thing we do, just so you know, is we monitor responses for up to four days afterward. So very often with texting, it's not we text today and you get leads today. Very often is we text today and you get leads tomorrow. And then we monitor them for up to four days. So that is kind of how our whole texting system works. And then you guys can always reach out if you have any questions. Now, I'm going to give you some expectations on what to see when you're texting. So the average texting campaign for houses gets a lead in about 60 to 400 text messages. Now, 60, of course, is like super stellar, but it does happen. And then I would be impressed with anything up to one lead in every 200 text messages. But anything uh, 200 to 400 for land, I would watch that closely. Okay, and now for houses. Depending on the market, houses can vary so much. We have cities like Miami, and then we have cities like somewhere in Arkansas that I don't know the name of, right? Now, those two markets perform vastly different. But with text messaging leads, what I would expect is to get a lead for houses and every 150 to 800 text messages, worst case scenario. Now, if it's 800, you're in a very saturated market. What I would start doing with the texting leads is if you're, if I would start to watch it closely, if you're getting a lead in every 400 or more text messages, that's when we want to start observing it. And that's when you want to book a call with me and chat with me about that. Well, all right, guys, this is the expectation videos on what to expect while text messaging, what to see on the leads. Now, I recommend calling every lead, no matter what. I always say every lead deserves two to five minutes of your time. If they're an asshole, hang up the phone. If they're not an asshole, I would not hang up the phone. It's that simple of a, I know you've heard me say that three times now in this course, because it's that simple. Watch the magic that happens. Call these people with a positive attitude. Call these people with a positive intent and watch the magic that occurs on the other side of the phone. Well, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a good one.